Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the skin retouching process. The raw image was like that and after adding the effects and everything, I just made it like this. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Turning it off and going to the open options, here is NEF, the raw file my Indian friend just sent me to edit this one and making this video. So thanks to him. And going to the open as object options and hit OK. It will open up as a smart object. The benefits of using this smart object you can edit this one in future anytime any things so that is the advantage of making this one smart object. At first going to the filter select this layer at first going to the filter and here is the portraiture 3 so this one is plugins of photoshop and already i got this one and here is settings like that already use that settings from here here the fine that is 10 percent the medium 16 percent the large that is the 20 percent and the threshold 28 percent the shooting 100 percent and smoothing 100 percent you can make this one a little bit up down if you want you can make it zoom you will get more detail about portrait size that is auto and the skin masking that is 66 the feathering opacity 9% fuzziness zero percent and here the hue 80 percent saturation 75 percent luminance that is 72 percent and the latitude 55 percent and here the enhancement mask zero sharpness 32 percent the soften that is 24 percent and the warm that is zero and the tint zero brightness zero and the contrast that is like 10 percent that's good and hit the ok button so after making it done we are going to the filter and camera filter this one is the main task to add all the stuffs so let's see the image is like that saturation hue everything so you can edit this one manually so how to do that i'll add some shadow at first so this shadow is 24 percent and then a little bit of warm two percent and the tint that light and here into the color mixture we'll go to the uh, luminance of the red orange yellow and green and then all the stuffs will make this one little bit of luminance from here saturation luminance is the intensity of the color and luminance and the saturation is the percentage of the color so here i'll add uh, like five percent all the things mainly in a red yellow and, and the other colors so like that okay and the hue i'll make this one uh, like a uh, 10 10 10 10 10 actually i'll make this one minus 10 and this one minus 10 so that's good let's see the before and after okay that's fine and then in the detailing portion i'll add some sharpness add some noise reduction and color noise reduction that's in this portion i'll make this one zero or minus five okay minus five and plus five that is the matching of the okay that's good and going to the curve tone curve i'll use some tone curve like this and lock it up over there and adding a little bit of grammar not too much and adding like this that's good in this portion i'll make this one a little bit of warm that's fine and actually i should make this one zero or like minus five already told that and now in a detailed portion we got that and color mixture we got that i'll go into the basic again and now we'll work with the texture adding some texture and adding some clarity and then highlight will make it a little bit of down that's good the exposure a little bit up going to the color grading here will use shadow color so what should be the shadow color like this and the mid-tone color what will be the mid-tone color like this tone color should be like this the calibration should be the calibration the green primary and the hue color that's fine a little bit down and blacks a little bit up d haze that is minus 10 yeah that's fine temperature and tint and geometry color grading all the stuff is done and hit okay the before one and after one and now going to the filter finally the collection and color effects this one is another plugins for the photoshop and it will help you out to adding some filters and hit okay after making making this one done okay it's loading it up and here i'm using the cross processing from here lots of method over there which one you want to use in your photographs so here lots of for me and 33 or 28 percent is good for me and hit ok so that's fine and now going to the levels options adding some levels that's fine 11 1.13 and 251 that is the setting so let's see one which is the raw image and after 
uh, this one is the before one and after adding all the stuff see, we are getting all the things is like that which is really nice and like eye catchy so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video is someone is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye